with employees working remotely and contractors accessing corporate environments remotely, we need a way to be able to govern and audit activity in our web applications. And that's where conditional access app control and Microsoft Cloud App Security comes into play. What this is, is enabling you to basically monitor and control a web app in real time based on a policy. So some example scenarios of how you can use this. I can prevent data exfiltration. So blocking the ability to download files, blocking copy and paste operations, printing, and doing that on maybe an unmanaged device. Protecting upon download. So as you download a document, let's apply DLP to it, Azure Information Protection label and encryption to that file. Prevent upload of files that maybe don't have that label. Block malware. So as you try to upload a file to an app, if it does contain malware, we can actually block it and stop it from being uploaded. And same thing with being downloaded. Monitor that user's activity within a web app to ensure compliance. Blocking access completely to an app and then also blocking custom activities. So if you think about something like Microsoft Teams or Slack and being able to say block an instant message, that can be valuable. So what apps are supported? Well, I wanna be very clear with you that any web app that's configured using SAML 2.0, OpenID Connect, or on-premises apps using Azure AD App Proxy are supported. Now, Microsoft has gone through and onboarded what they call featured apps, and you can see those listed here in the bullet points. So if you want to, go ahead and pause the slide and review that. Now, if it's not featured, you can onboard other applications and you can do that right within the product. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Now, again, I wanna be very clear that this capability can only be applied to web-based applications that support SAML, OpenID Connect, or via Azure AD App Proxy. Also, this can integrate with other identity providers other than Azure Active Directory. So you don't need Azure AD to be able to do this. Okay, simple data flow here of how this thing works. You browse to an app. I then log into the app using my identity provider. My identity provider then redirects my session to Microsoft Cloud App Security. MCAS evaluates and applies the appropriate policy. And now my web session is proxied through MCAS. My URL is actually gonna be rewritten. And then at that point forward, all, set, all session activity is proxied through MCAS. And that way we can govern it and we can apply policy and enforce different restrictions. Okay, rather than talking about this, let's jump into a demo and let me walk you through how to set this up and what this looks like. Okay, so here we are inside the Azure Active Directory portal. So for this demo, my IDP is going to be Azure Active Directory. And I'm inside conditional access, and I've already created a policy here for uh, G Suite and Teams session proxy. So if we go into that, we can see that my policy is being applied to one user, and it's being applied to my test user, Megan. Uh, I'm actually gonna apply it to all cloud apps, just for purposes of my demo here. No conditions. Uh, we're going to grant access to the app, and then under session, we're going to choose use conditional access app control, and we're going to apply a custom policy. And then we're going to enable that and save it. Now, once this conditional access statement is created, we are then going to come into cloud app security, and on the investigate pane here, we're going to click on connected apps, and that's going to get us to this page. We're then going to click on conditional access app control apps, and you're gonna see the apps I've already have added. Notice I have G Suite added and all the you know, Microsoft apps. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign. And this is where I can add an app to, uh, to this integration. So if I'm working with say, uh, Workplace by Facebook, I can add that and I could start the wizard. And then with my IDP, I could start importing the data and going through and configuring that. Now I've actually already signed in to Microsoft Teams using that conditional access policy. And because I signed into Microsoft Teams using that policy, it shows up in this list and it shows up as being connected. Okay, so that's working. So now we're gonna go over to control and we're gonna click on policies. And this is where you create a session policy to actually apply the, the governance and enforce you know, restrictions. 
So I'm gonna actually sort by type, and I've already done this, so let's find my session policy. Here's my session policy, Teams block, copy and paste. Now notice I have another one here for malware. We'll talk about that in another video. And here for this session policy, we are blocking an activity as opposed to controlling file download or controlling file upload or just audit only, but we're gonna block an activity. And we have my filter set to say, okay, we're gonna do this across uh, the Microsoft Teams app. Now I could choose other apps like G Suite if I wanted to. Uh, the activity type is we're gonna block, copy and paste as opposed to a instant messaging Teams or printing or even pasting data into Teams. And then I'm also setting a filter to say, only apply this to devices that are not managed, devices that are not joined to the MDM, not joined to the domain or don't have a valid client certificate. And now I could inspect the data. So if you try to copy data out of Teams, we could first inspect it using a document fingerprint, using a custom sensitive information type, using a keyword, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we'll save that for another video. But my actions here is I'm gonna block it, I'm gonna notify them by email, and I'm also gonna give them a custom message here. And we're also going to create an alert. Notice I could send that alert to Power Automate for a playbook if I wanted to. We'll talk about that in another video. And then I'm gonna click update. Okay, so now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and test this. And to test it, we're going to open up a new in private tab. And we're gonna browse out to Teams. And we're gonna sign in. Now, let me zoom in here for you so we can see what we're doing. And I'm gonna log in as my test user. And notice it automatically redirects me to Azure AD and then once we get signed in, I want you to watch the address bar. Do you see what's happening up there in the address bar? It's redirecting to cas.ms. So that's the proxy kicking in. Remember I talked about that before. Now this splash page is just letting me know that look, we're, we're monitoring your activity. You can hide this administratively uh, or the user can hide it themselves. And I also have my company logo down here, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep this visible for now for purpose of the demo. We're gonna continue. And this is going to get me signed into Teams. Notice up here in the address bar, we're still being proxied through Cloud App Security. And once we're signed into Teams, let's try to uh, violate policy. So let's go to a channel here that has some text. Here we go. And let me zoom in here just a little bit more for you. And uh, let's try to copy some text here out of Teams. So I'm gonna highlight it, right click, choose copy. Boom, stopped my tracks action has been blocked. Now that's just an example of what we can do here. Uh, I'll save other scenarios for other videos, but that is conditional access app control and action, that's session control. We're proxying through Cloud App Security and we're looking at your uh, activity. And if you trigger that policy on a certain activity, we will block it. And there you go. So now let's go back to Cloud App Security for a moment and let's go to alerts. And check it out, there is the policy that got violated and uh, here is the alert that was triggered. That's pretty cool. Now, if I go over here to activity log, this will also show up in the activity log. And here you can see I've already done this this morning and here's where Megan tried to copy an item out of Microsoft Teams and uh, the little stop sign here says blocked, so the action was blocked. I got some telemetry around uh, that activity and some telemetry around her user account as well. So maybe if that was a bad guy, I can start to investigate that. So there you have it, folks. That is conditional access app control in action. And that's how you set up. It's really easy to set up. And even doing this for a third-party app like G Suite is easy as well. Now I have G Suite added as my um, as an app in my Azure AD. So I've added it as an enterprise application. And when I have it added as an enterprise application, that allows me to then apply conditional access app control to it, which makes it, you know, again, super easy. Now, if I don't have Azure AD and I have a third party identity provider, that's okay because we could click on the blue sign here with an MCAS, search for that app, whatever it may be, and then we start the wizard to start integrating it with my third party IDP. Okay. So that is conditional access app control. It's really, really cool. All right, well, as always, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you found value in it, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. Click subscribe so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Hit me up on LinkedIn or Twitter if you have any questions. And folks, by all means, we will do more videos 
on conditional access app control and Microsoft Cloud App Security. So stay tuned. All right, take care. We'll see you in the next video.